Well, hello there, wonderful people. My name is Christina and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So a few weeks ago, I asked you guys on Instagram to send me some questions that you would like me to answer. So today I'm going to answer them. Maybe you can get to know me a little bit better and yeah, let's go. Okay, so the first question is, what is your real name? My real name is actually Christina and Simone. Simone is my first name, Christina is my middle name. And yeah, but I thought I'd go with Christina on the internet because, you know, in some countries Simone is a guy's name and I thought that would be kind of confusing and I don't like it that much anyway. So I thought I'd go with Christina, but like, yeah, Simone is also there, so yeah. <laughs> Maybe you read on an article that my last name was Taylor, but that's actually not true. Back then when uh, the journalist asked me to do the interview with her, I didn't want to tell her my real last name. So she just told me to make one up and yeah. So I chose Taylor because it's kind of related to my real last name, but it's, you know, not my real last name and I'm not gonna tell you. Next question. How old are you? I'm 19, I just turned 19 in September and thank you guys so much for the birthday wishes on my last Instagram YouTube video. It made me so happy reading those and you know, I just accidentally said when my birthday was so and you guys remembered, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. Next question. Have you ever broken a nail? Yes, I have broken a nail actually just yesterday, this one, yeah because my stupid ass fell down the stairs, but don't worry, I can glue them back together. Um, until July 2016, I have never broken a nail, but since then I have had a few nail breaks. How could this happen to me? But, you know, they are fixable, so don't worry. <laughs> Next question. How tall are you? I am 1 meter 70 centimeters. I don't know how many inches that is, but... I'll look it up and put it here. Okay, the same person asked, what kind of movies are your favorite? I like horror movies, just comedy movies, but basically just any type of movie, like cartoon, Disney movies and stuff like that. But I absolutely hate romantic movies, just those this cheesy shit, I just don't like it. I hate it. How do you keep your nails so long without breaking them? Watch my YouTube video on how to grow your nails. <laughs> okay, I like that question. Do you miss wearing gloves in winter? Yes, I do. I do, because especially in Germany it's cold as fuck outside already in October and I hate winters. <laughs> I get cold so easily and yeah. I miss it. I do wear fingerless gloves though, but it takes a while until I manage to put them on. But yeah, I miss wearing real gloves. Next question. What do you plan to do in your after school life? Um, that's a good question. I actually don't know yet, even though I am currently studying law. <laughs> I started university two weeks ago and yeah, but you know, I'm still not sure if I want to keep doing that, but let's just see if I like it. Next question. What's your favorite car, if you have a favorite? Um, I don't have a car yet, I don't even have a driver's license yet, um, but I really like those old Cadillacs, you know, they are really cool, but I guess I will never be able to afford one. But I like them. Okay, so let's see. Do you do your own nails or get them done at a salon? I do my own nails all the time. First of all, because I like painting them. I think it's kind of relaxing and therapeutic. <laughs> but also because I'm way too cheap to pay someone else to paint them. I went to a nail salon only one time, which was in 2015. And my nails weren't that long back then, but the nail artist was al was already like, what the fuck, how am I supposed to paint them? I can show you the design she painted on my nails and 
Yeah. I paid $30 for that. No gel, no nothing, just not even a base coat or a top coat, just two coats of a regular nail polish and just some hard shapes on it. 30 euros. What? So I thought, never again. Next question. I feel like knowing you a lot though, but can you tell me how to be slim? Because I've been overweight again. <laughs> um, I don't know, honestly. As you can see, I'm pretty skinny, but I've always been that skinny and I eat everything. I'm not on a special diet or anything. I eat candy and stuff all the time. And I actually think I eat a lot, but you know, I just don't gain any weight. And looking at me, you probably think I'm a very active and fit person, but no. <laughs> I'm the laziest person I know, and that says a lot about me. I hate doing sports. I just don't like it. I'm the unfittest person I know, and yeah, so I can't really tell you anything how to be slim, because I think it's just like genetics or something like that. My parents are very slim too, so... Yeah, but... Sorry. Do you have any short nail pictures? Yes, I do. Here are some. Okay. Will you make a video to talk about your toenails as well? When will you be with your... When will there be a video about your toenails? Are your toenails long and could you please consider posting more pics of them? Do you have any interest in having long toenails? How much inch are your toenails? Why are you guys so obsessed with toenails? What the hell? Anyway, next question. Wie hat dir Wien gefallen? Okay, that's a good question. By the way, she said, how did you like Vienna? Like I said, last year in September we, we visited Vienna with school and I met her in the hotel or hostel we stayed in and there was a bar in the basement and kind of like a small disco and she was sitting there with her friends and she noticed my long nails and started uh, asking me questions about it and complimented me and yeah, she was very sweet, very nice girl and also her friends were very nice so yeah. I love Vienna, beautiful city, <laughs> and we had a great time there. Even though we only stayed in, we only stayed there for one weekend, unfortunately, but it was very great. And yeah, like I said, she was a very sweet girl. But even though I'm really fucking awkward in public when you talk to me about my nails or like if I have to talk to a stranger, I can be very fucking awkward. <laughs> awkward, so. Yeah, if you ever meet me in person, I apologize if I'm awkward. <laughs> Do you have any tattoos or piercings? Um, no, I don't have any piercings except for, well, I guess I got my ears pierced for earrings, but like, if you can call it a piercing. I do have a tattoo. I don't know if you can see, but it says all is art. Oh, great. I do have a tattoo. It says all is art and that's a quote by Andy Warhol who's one of my favorite artists of all time. I'll have to turn off that lighting because it just it's burning my eyes. <laughs> and the story behind that is actually um, I've always loved the pop art style and Andy Warhol and I've thought about that question what art is for a very long time. My former English teacher She's also a big fan of Andy Warhol and we talked about that question what art is in class and about pop art style and stuff like that and Andy Warhol said that all is pretty and all is art and suddenly I just realized all is art, all is pretty. He is right, I'm totally gonna get this tattooed. No, but I really wanted to have a tattoo and it was just one month before my 18th birthday when I was finally allowed to get one. And I was not ready for that much commitment, like if I got it tattooed on my arm or somewhere visible. 
I was just not ready for so much commitment. I mean, what if I didn't like it? And yeah, I was basically too scared to get one at a visible place. I've seen a few years ago that Kesha has actually tattooed something on her lip too. I think it's a socket or something like that. And I thought that was really cool and you know, it's hidden, but you still can show it and you still have a tattoo and that was just great. And But I didn't know what to put on my lips, so I just... But at first I thought I'd only put the word art on there, because like, I like art. <laughs> and yeah, that's just my thing. <laughs> but yeah, I thought that was just boring and yeah, like I said, one day in English class I heard that quote and I was like... Hell yeah! So I got a tattoo! The first thing people say when they see my tattoo is That must have been so painful! But I could tell you it wasn't at all. Um, I mean, I don't know how painful it is to get like your arm tattooed or anything like that, but it wasn't that painful at all. I went to the tattoo studio just during lunch break and yeah, I got a tattoo. It was not that painful. But the only thing that was difficult was like holding a lid down like that because you know the tattoo artist can't hold it because it, he has to tattoo it so the client has to pull it down but it was not that easy because of my nails but the tattoo artist was very patient and I think he did a great job and after that I just went back to PE at school <laughs> yeah that's the story of my tattoo I like the tattoo and I'm glad that I got it. I would also love to get like my wrist tattoo or something like that or that place here with... I don't know if you know Michael Jackson's dangerous album cover. It looks like that. And I would really love to get it tattooed in black and white, just the eyes right here. Maybe comment if you would if you think it looks cool or if I should get it tattooed because I'm very unsure so maybe you can help me. <laughs> Next question. Do you plan on letting your nails grow for the rest of your life? No, absolutely not. Like I said in earlier videos, I'm definitely going to cut them one day, but I don't know yet. I don't have a plan or anything like that. I just wait and see how it goes, which is basically my life motto. <laughs> hey Christina, what's the hardest thing to do with your nails so long? Like in daily chores and such. Um, hmm, I don't know. I don't really have much problems with doing daily chores with my nails. Like I can do the dishes or... Um, cook and clean and everything like that. So I don't have a problem with that. Um, but for example, I can't really do sports, like, for example, when I was younger, I loved climbing, like, you know, there are those, I don't know the word again in English, but there are like those forests where like parkours, where you have to climb the trees and stuff like that. I just love doing that, but I can't do it anymore because you have to wear gloves and I mean, the risk of breaking one nail or injuring myself would just be too high, so yeah. I can't do that and yeah, that makes me pretty sad sometimes. Next question. Do you think to make them shorter but sharp? Yes, I do think about that actually. If I cut them, I will cut them all off because go hard or go home. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, if I cut them, I would cut them off completely and very short. Um, and then grow them again or just maybe not to this length but like a little bit longer and I thought about like trying out new shapes like stiletto or almond or yeah just changing things up a little bit you know so yeah I do think about that what does your family think about your nails um, well my family is thank god very supportive uh, my mom, for example, um, she's also very supportive, but she kind of likes the designs that I do more than the length of my nails. 
I mean, sometimes she says to me, like, don't you want to cut them a little bit shorter? But yeah, you know, I think she's just worried about me and just wants the best for me. But she totally accepts my decision and supports me. And yeah, I'm very thankful for that. Next question. How do you play games on your PC? Um, that's a good question. I have my Xbox controller here and I play with that on my PC. For example, I love playing GTA Online. Add me on there, my name is Kyle Claw Christie. Let's do a heist together. So yeah, I just play like that. Works perfectly fine. How long does it take you to paint your amazing announcements, Chris? First of all, thank you. It takes about like two hours depending on the design because, you know, removing the old nail polish takes like forever and then two coats of nail hardener, then the color, then another coat of color and then a top coat. It takes a while until everything dries. So yeah, about two hours probably. Sometimes even a little bit longer. Which YouTube channel is the first one you subscribed? Um, the first YouTube channel I ever subscribed to was a channel called Golden Girl TV, um, a German YouTube channel, beauty tutorials and stuff like that. I don't think that channel exists anymore. But the first YouTube channel I subscribed to on this YouTube channel was the nail polish bottle. She's such a sweet girl and I feel like we have so much in common and she makes great YouTube videos so definitely go check out her channel, subscribe. There was the first YouTube channel I subscribed to on this channel. Talking about her, she also asked, are you a single Pringle aka single? Yes, I am a very single Pringle. How could this happen to me? I am single and probably that is the reason why I am single. <laughs> So yeah, I think that's it guys. I hope I answered most of your questions. If you have more questions, let me know in the comments down below and I'll do part two. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all so much. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.